Hello, I'm Dr. Kamyar Kalantar Zadeh from the Harold Simmons Center for Kidney Disease Research and Epidemiology at the University of California Irvine Medical Center in Orange, California. I would like to share with you the highlights of our recent study that is published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. This study, which is a collaborative effort with South Korean researchers, is titled Mortality Predictability of Body Size and Muscle Mass Surrogates in Asian versus White and African American Hemodialysis Patients. The objective of this study was to re-examine the so-called obesity paradox in people with advanced chronic kidney disease and to determine whether the association of larger body size and muscle mass with the greater survival in patients undergoing long-term hemodialysis is consistent across race, especially in East Asian versus white and African American patients. In this study, we examined comprehensive data from over 20,000 patients from South Korea who underwent hemodialysis from early 2001 to mid-2009 and compared these data with those from 20,000 matched patients from the United States, including 10,000 whites and 10,000 African Americans who underwent hemodialysis treatment from 2001 to 2006. We examined and compared the association of baseline body mass index or BMI, obesity and body size surrogate, and serum creatine level as a muscle surrogate with mortality across the three racial groups. We found that in these 20,000 South Korean hemodialysis patients, higher body mass index together with higher serum creatine levels as indicator of larger muscle mass were associated with greater survival as previously reported from the US and European studies. In the matched cohort, that included 10,000 patients from each of the three races. Mortality risks were lower across higher body mass index or BMI values and higher serum creatinine levels. And these associations were similar in all three races as compared with the reference groups. That means patients with BMI above 25 kilograms per meter square or serum creatinine above 12 milligrams per deciliter in each race. The underweight white African-American and Korean patients with BMI below 18.5 kilograms per meter squared had 78%, 79%, and 57% high mortality risk, respectively. And white African-American and Korean patients with serum creatinine levels of 6 milligrams per deciliter or less which reflects smaller muscle mass, had 108%, 87%, and 78% higher mortality, respectively. I would like to invite you to look at the figures and tables of this study, which more clearly reflect these interesting findings. In conclusion, this study showed that race does not modify the association of higher body size and muscle mass with greater survival in hemodialysis patients. Hence, given the consistency of the obesity paradox, which may be related to a mitigated effect of protein energy wasting on mortality, irrespective of racial disparities, supportive nutritional and muscle enhancing interventions to improve survival should be tested in dialysis patients of all races and also in patients with other chronic disease states such as those with heart failure, liver disease, chronic lung disease, and advanced malignancies among others. Thank you. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter.
For more information on health care at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.